Let's have a look at some good games for Halloween. So we'll start off with The House of the Dead. It's an old rail shooter, very similar to the plot of Resident Evil. You go around a mansion and shoot zombies and mutants. Um, there's been several sequels. House of the Dead 2 is very good and I hear Overkill is very good, but I haven't played it yet. So check out those. We have Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, one of the best RPGs ever made. It's a spiritual successor to Deus Ex. And what it's about is you're a newly created vampire in the LA underworld, uh, sort of finding out about the sort of vampire culture and everything. Really good game. Uh, what in my top 10 games that I've ever played, and this is definitely worth checking out. Although uh, Troika, the developer, went out of uh, business because Activision really screwed him over, so um, don't support Activision and buy it. Although, I made the mistake of doing that. See if you can get a good second-hand copy like this, or download it. Then we have Alice Madness Returns. Uh, not Sorry, not Madness Returns, American McGee's Alice. Madness Returns is a sequel, which isn't as good. American McGee's Alice is sort of a screwed-up version of Alice in Wonderland, where you have to go around and kill everything, because Wonderland's gone really bad. Uh, it's sort of a platformer, third-person, sort of slice em up game. It's quite fun, quite creepy. Uh, then we have Ice by Spooky Mansion. This isn't really scary at all, but it's a good fun uh, hidden objects game. Probably the best sort of adventure game in that sort of style I've played. And it's just lots of good puzzles where you have to try and find things. Stalker Call of Pripyat. Uh, this is the third game in the Stalker series and the last one. And it's basically a refined version of the earlier games where it's more open world. And it's basically you go around the Chern Chernobyl exclusion zone and fight mutants and things like that and sort of go into conspiracies and all things like that really good first person shooter got a really creepy atmosphere when you're wandering around the zone at night and there's mutants everywhere it's definitely worth playing and it's probably the most refined game in the stalker series although a lot of people prefer shadow chernobyl and demon souls my favorite game on ps3 uh, sadly it's ps3 exclusive uh, dark souls spiritual successors released on everything but demons is um only on PS3. Now basically this is an incredibly difficult game but it's difficult in the good way which is challenging rather than actually being a um, unfair game which is part of the problem with Dark Souls. They on purposely made some bits incredibly difficult just to be sort of oh because it's hard. But um, Demon's Souls about when um, a kingdom gets overrun with a fog and in the fog comes demons and the fog slowly spreading across the rest of the world your adventure has gone into the fog to try and stop it before everyone dies really good game it's not a scary game as such but there's a couple of creepy levels uh, the palace of Boletaria is pretty screwed up it's where um, the main sort of kingdom it's the castle where all the soldiers have become soulless and now sort of hunt after people and there's the really good world Latria where um, <clears throat> you have these octopus headed guards called mind flayers and yeah it's pretty screwed up but it's a really good game so those are my Halloween recommendations there's obviously a lot of other good horror games or whatever but these are the ones I'm recommending <laughs>